But to answer your question, the reason why I, I think part, the first part of why I'm in the reason I am now is that blow up. What? You asked me. What thought, blow up? Yeah. You asked me how I think I'm playing the game, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Am I getting the question correct? Yeah. Okay. So part of why I'm in this position now yeah. is that blow up that happened right before the first eviction. Oh. Right? Where everyone flipped the vote and somehow threw my name out there and said that I said that Gary and Ica were the ones that flipped the vote or was oh. trying to flip it. Oh, okay. That was put on me. I'm in the pantry, minding my own business, come out, everyone's mad at me. Whole house is yelling at me. I have to defend myself, get to the bottom of, hey, I didn't do that. Yeah. And why my name was even thrown in there is because of people watching me last season. Okay. So there is a... And we know who that is. Those people that flipped the house are liars and whatever. So are you bitter? Are no, you mad? No, are like, you mad that your game is gone the way that it has? Um, not necessarily. Like I knew it coming with a target on my back. Okay. But I'm just I'm upset about how the game is and how everyone's just not. Like on my season, we knew there was a Jared side, there was a Dallas side. But don't you think that's because there were 16 newbies? And none of you knew each other. Nobody had pre-existing game or any pre-existing relationships or anything. Like, really? See, I didn't have any pre-existing relationships with any of the hosts, yes. Here? Mm-hmm. Well, you guys did know each other. Well, I don't talk to them. I'm in Winnipeg. I'm my own life, my own friend. I don't really talk to any of these other people. Okay. I don't really care about any of them. I mean, you must have gone and met some of them. Right when I go to the house and I realize this family is a bunch of weirdos that all hate each other and talk shit behind each other's back and I kind of got right away how untrustworthy a lot of them were. Okay. But, I don't know. Okay. Did that answer your question? Kinda. I guess I, I mean, I guess they, it's like, okay, do you, this cast, Cassandra, the player from season four, take any responsibility to the moves you made in season five? I, I, did, I did say that already, sir, by saying I trusted the wrong people. Okay. That's what I, I wanted. I trusted the wrong people. That's my fault. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. And also, the thing is the blow up in season, or But in that first week blow one, up, if that hadn't happened. That killed it. That started it. Then that made Gary go to Ned and say something. That made, you know, a bunch of people start talking and mining and turning the mix. Okay. And that's no offense to that one. Okay. Okay, I got you. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I'm just asking. Did I trust the wrong people? Absolutely. But do you really honestly think in season five there was like you had some real solid connections? I didn't. You I didn't did? Have any, I didn't okay. have any solid loyalty. Okay, because that's what I'm asking. No, there okay. was no okay. everyone was loyal to themselves, which is fine. It's Big Brother. Mm-hmm. That's what. It's just no, like because I've no, watched all the seasons and no, they had. Listen, Karen, you're asking me a question. You listen to the answer. Okay. In season four, mm-hmm. you need loyal people to get to the end of this game. You need people that you can confide in, talk about strategy with, and people so you can't trust people 100%. But in my season, season four, yes, I trusted Joel and Tim 100%. And, and I, I knew could they see had that. my back. Yeah. And we played that game together. And I could not build those relationships in this game because I came into the game with a target on my back because I'm still fresh in people's minds and people think of me as a master manipulator and blah, 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 blah. I mean, there's a girl like Jackie who looks sweet and innocent and blah, blah, blah. People are going to trust her before they trust me just because that's the way it is. And that's how it is in society. People are going to trust Kevin Martin because look at him. He looks really sweet, blah, 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 Can blah, the conversation over right? myself. Sure. Yeah. But that's how I view it. Absolutely. Dude, I, I absolutely made the wrong relationships in this house and that's why I'm in this position. That's on me. Yeah. I tried to build formidable alliance when I tried to build trust with people but then they go around and say oh, I made it very clear to you I don't trust you so that's when I know that person is full of shit and never to trust you again so that's why I'm saying I respect a player more like Bruno opposed to the next player that that like won't Kevin. yeah 
But I've already told you that, so I'm not going to throw you under the bus. Like, well, I won't bother you anymore. No, I'm not bothered by it. But that's. But do you so uh, being a vet? Do you feel it's a disadvantage because, like you're saying, you had you felt you had a target on your back coming in because people know you and they know the kind of player you are. I think it's just how each character is perceived. Like, and people perceive them the same way they saw them on TV. Like Ned is a very smart player, Mm -hmm. and people respect her and Mm -hmm. won't go after throw her under the bus. They would me on my things. I was fun. I was, you know, lied to people. I did that. Like I was entertainment. I manipulated. I played Big Brother, the, and I liked the way I played. Mm-hmm. But I was loyal to my people. Yeah. So coming into this, when I played last, nobody knew me from a hole in the ground. Nobody knew that I was playing like that. You know, nobody knew what I was up to behind the scenes. Nobody knew what I was doing until they went back and watched the show, or they were in the jury house, and they were like, shit, it was Cassandra, this whole, you know? Mm-hmm. Here, they, people watch me. I come in, people know my game. It's hard to build those relationships. But don't you find that a lot of the vets in here are playing a different game than they did in their seasons? I think a lot of the vets have something to prove. Okay. Even though they say they don't, they do. Okay. They want to get farther in the game and they want to win it. I had nothing to prove to myself, so I said no to coming here. Okay. You said no? At first, yeah. Then my family convinced me, like, uh, no, you're going because you're going to regret it. Mm. I played the bet. Like, I played better than I ever thought I would my first season. I thought it was going to be out the first few weeks. Mm-hmm. And I went above and beyond. It was, it fulfilled every dream I ever had. And I'm so lucky that I was asked to even come back a second season. I couldn't say no to that mm-hmm. because I know how good I everyone that that. puts the show together is to me. And I know I how could good see that for sure. The supporters. Like it's like an honor to be asked me, to like come it's, back. It's insane. It says a lot about the people that were asked to come back. It's like, you know, you were good, you were gamers, yeah, you were entertaining. Yeah, but 100%, the reason why I'm here, of course it's my fault. I trusted the wrong people. But it has to do with some circumstances along the way, too. Mm-hmm. Who's in the house? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And I think um, some people already wanted me out before they even got into the house <sighs> for their own personal reasons, and that's fine. I, you know, you know, you saw me on my seat. I love women power. I love, yeah. You know, I would have loved for all of us chicks to work, but that's just not how the cookie mm-hmm. crumbles. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with it. Yeah. 